Today I'm with the nudest, sweatiest, most vibey bloke going around. He's got a receding hairline big enough you can almost see what he's thinking, and you may have seen him around town in his Crocs, socks, and party shirts too. This bloke is no stranger to the Melbourne clubbing scene, and has no trouble bringing the vibe to many of Melbourne's biggest and most famous clubs and events. With his funky house sets and his energetic ways, He's one of the hardest workers in and out of the studio, and he's not only my good mate, but he's now a household name in the Melbourne clubbing scene. Please welcome, Morning Maxwell. Mate, Jeez. thank you so much for coming in, bro. I really no appreciate that. Welcome to John A. Shout. This is obviously episode one, and I thought I couldn't have anyone better to bring on than my, uh, not only one of my best mates, but um, a household name in the scene, so. We've obviously known each other for a few years now, I think two, we three have. years. Indeed we have. Dude, indeed. it feels like a fucking lifetime, bro. I know, it does. It's been good. It is, it's been, been man. It's been a journey. Yeah, dude. And I think there's plenty to come, just yeah, quietly. But we'll 100%. touch on that later, bro. We will. But um, obviously, I just wanted to first start off about, on that, um, coming from maybe, uh, you started off doing house parties. Yeah. 16, 17, 18. Yeah. And then moving into 21st. And yeah. I remember you taking your gear to all these places and doing F45 and stuff, and I know you're still big on that, but um, I think for the first question I had, for people listening at home who sort of want to break into the nightclub sort of side of things, mm. how do you transition from doing, putting all the hard yards in, doing your house parties, going into the clubs? How do yeah. you come from promoter to headliner and having the promoter start frothing you? Um... I think most people kind of start as a promoter because that's what the club hosts want. Yeah. They want people just to play, bring people, mm. play for nothing kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, true. And Make just, money. Yeah. And I think the re the thing that kind of made me separate myself and kind of get into that artist thing was just making music. Yeah, so production like, side? Yeah, like I hit a stage where I was playing a fair bit at Circus and yeah. that's where I met you. Yeah. Um, Never, playing yeah. a fair bit at Circus and like that kind of stuff. Yeah. And um, then, yeah, I was just like, I need to make tunes because yeah. there's so many promoter DJs out there. And I guess the production does definitely put you out from... Yeah, just to find yourself. Yeah. Like, people know me for what I play and yeah. what I make now. Yeah, Instead true. Of what I play. And you've obviously made some absolute hits quite... Thanks, man. Straight off the bat. I mean, you, you haven't been producing too long. How long is it that you've been About producing? a year and a half. Yeah? yeah. And you're running Ableton. And running Ableton, thanks yeah. to you. And is it cracked? <laughs> <laughs> is it cracked or is it not? Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Um, and obviously the biggest hit probably in my eyes from your end is um, Trying to Chill. Yeah. Do you agree? That's yeah, definitely. What did it's you get really on, well. on Spotify? You had uh, 170. 170,000 plays. Dude, yeah. that's like two MCGs. It's a fair bit. It's a lot of people, bro. It's a lot of Tigers fans eating a pie. <laughs> <laughs> and the kind of pies. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's a lot of joppers, man. Hot pies, cold drinks, <laughs> melted chocolate bars. <laughs> so, and other, uh, um, after you've done Trying to Chill, yeah. obviously, in my eyes, it could be a bit of a biased opinion, but I feel mm. like you're one of the most hardest workers in, this, in the scene, behind the scenes, in, um, the, in the studio. Thanks, and man. you're working on so many things at the moment. Like I, you've got about thirty tunes, and it does my head in because I want you, to, <laughs> I want you to finish them, man. Yeah, I know, mate. It, it does my head in too. Yeah, Don't I can worry about that. Can you tell us what we have coming up soon? Yeah, the end of the yeah. Year? And obviously, I've got, of the I've got two new singles mastered, yep. ready to sick. go, which is sick. Cool. Um, one's called In the Right Direction. Yep. And it's featuring a lovely lady called Paris Wells. Yep. I wrote the song with her and a guy called Swoop. Cool. Um, also known as Shawnee B. Yeah, flaunt it, man. Shit, what's your mama give? Banger. Get on with it. Um, and that's like a quite a dancey pop tune. Mm. And then I also wrote this tune called Preach and Write with Wildfire. Yeah. Um, and you, that's, yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty housey, pretty deep. Um, sort of jacking, isn't it? Really? Yeah. yeah. When are these coming out? You haven't got a release date for these yet? Or? I'm kind of just sussing out the best release yeah, path. Um, I, they'll definitely be out early next year, though. Yeah. I want to get them out. Awesome. I'm really excited. Video clip in the right direction is going to be awesome. Sick. We've got this massive idea planned for it, Dude. which is sweet, and a um, bunch of shows, playing cans next year and stuff. Yeah, which I was going to touch on because yeah. you've Sorry had some pretty big gun. gigs right now. <laughs> you've got some pretty big gigs quite recently, too. Yeah. Obviously, you've been. Probably, you've clocked Melbourne, I'd say. You're clocking Melbourne. Melbourne's, yeah. You're doing yeah. Um, multiple shows a weekend. Yeah. And I was actually going to ask you how that 
is on your body every week. I mean, you've been on a bender now for how long? Like, you Even, haven't really slept? No, I haven't slept on the today, weekend. Really. <laughs> so you've had um, about a, a four-year bender. Yeah, three, three and a half year bender. Dude, that's awesome. I'm surprised I'm still alive sometimes. Yeah. I got actually got really sick like two or three weeks ago. I think that actually yeah. you're a little bad. And um, I guess that happens. I think that it. was like literally one of my mates, Mose, he said to me, he's like, this is the result of yeah. two and a half years. Yeah, it catches it's up. It's all added up. And I was yeah. like, yeah, it's probably a fair call. Like I just, Monday to Thursdays, Relax, but not really, because yeah. I've still got music and I run my company and all this yeah. other stuff. Yeah. And then by the time it's Thursday, I just don't get any sleep till Sunday yeah. because of gigs. Um, Pushing it in hard work. Or hard yeah, work I'm just and, going for it. I love yeah. it still, so it's good. Well, not a lot of people knew this about you, but or know this about you, but mm. you're actually sober when you play. Yeah. I mean, you don't mind a beer, but I have one beer like every now and then because it makes you fart sometimes. I hear. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it. <laughs> yeah. It Mate, makes it well. Coffee's worse, <laughs> but like beer, it's. I mean, it's very carby. Yeah, it is. And yeah, it goes straight to here. Carby B, man. Oh, dude, carby B. <laughs> but not a lot of people know this as well. Oh, we used to go to Cloud Nine, and you used yeah, to stay and watch Cloud. the Orchestrated Boys. So I used to watch that. Orchestrated at um, is this just called Cloud Nine Recovery? Yeah, I think basement so. From yeah, Boy, basement from Yeah, basement. Yeah. Yeah, I went and watched Cloud Nine. Uh, went and watched Orchestrated at Cloud Nine, and then I went to work afterwards at the bakery. That's crazy. <laughs> Seven AM sausage rolls, dude. And they were playing the real old school hard hitting stuff. Yeah, yeah. that's did what that, I, that's what like I got it? brought up. Yeah, so minimal you... vibes, all your stuff, man. Yeah, well, that's why I try and show you and. and yeah, I, do, I just get sick of it sometimes. That's fair enough. Like, no offense, I love it. No, dude, I get sick of you too, bro, and I'm <laughs> sick of this interview. <laughs> but, but, like, <laughs> no, nah, Orchestrator's sick, and, like, there's still definitely, like, a really big place yeah. for all that stuff. In, I in so, Melbourne, yeah. especially. Like, everyone, yeah. like, there's always going to be kids that want to go out and just listen to the Yeah, know? they're all the fucking hard hitting. Yeah, 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 just the. The ball slapping the walls, you know. And the t shirt swappers and all yeah, that. Yeah, and it's a bit faster than what I play. Actually, no, I can't. You bring yours sense. up, though. Yeah, I do. You can. Other house it. DJs, they stay at like 122, and I'm just like, dude, get by. You just pull out that little slider. Tempo slider. <laughs> That's <dude>. good. <laughs> Pulled pork tempo slider, dude. <laughs> Wait, so with the venues that you've played at, as I said, you've played at a lot of them over this year. You really, yeah. I think 2018 was your year in terms of covering almost every club. I agree, in, man. In I agree. I, f- I felt like I had a heap of residencies yeah. and that kind of stuff. And it's there cool. were really like you got Tramp Bar and you obviously Circus, yeah, uh, Mint Lounge, Werribee, that they're yeah. looking after you. Yeah. So you've done a lot in that sort of aspect. What Sookies, do you reckon is you, yeah, in yeah. Belgrave? Yeah. Um, Where's your favourite venue, man? I mean, I'd hate for you to choose out of all them, but what is there one place you can go to like or play? In Melbourne, yeah. probably Prince or Tram. Prince, yeah. Tram. Prince is sick. Why just, is it just the sound system or is it the vibe? Prince is a sick Prince venue. is massive. Cool venue. When there's full houses, there's a thousand people. Yeah, that's You know, incredible. like that's crazy. Dude, that's... For, a, for a Melbourne club night, like for me just to leave my house and be pretty much at a festival in yeah. 45 minutes, it's like, it's crazy. But then in terms of other, I love the Sookie and Belgrade. Yeah. I love it. It's just the people there are organic and just laid back. And you can play, like you can really experiment with your sound. Yeah. And they're just like, yeah, cool, this is sick. They just yeah. embrace it so much more than like some of the city clubs and stuff. Yeah, who maybe don't appreciate it. And... Well, I think the city clubs are spoiled for choice. True. Dude, yeah. even if you're on King Street, you've got seven clubs. Yeah. So it's like, if you don't like one, you just go to the next Literally one. Literally walking distance. Whereas Belgrave, they're like 45 minutes out of the city. Yeah. It's not like they're going to get a cab into the city. That's a good point. And if they do, it's like a big night. Like you're spending 80 bucks each way and whatever. Yeah. Um, and yeah, Midland and Ruby Six and James Geelong's cool. Yeah. Like there's plenty going around. It's just, oh, there's... It's, it's actually just really tough being a DJ, isn't it? How <laughs> hard is it being in demand, oh, dude? Oh, mate. Supply and demand. So hard. <laughs> okay, so just from the, um, the days of going and watching Orc, and you've obviously seen the scene, seen the scene, man. Seen you've the obviously scene. watched the scene over an uh, X amount of years, a bit yeah. more than I have as I'm a bit younger. But yeah. um, how and how have you seen, I hate saying scene and scene, dude, but right. how have you watched the scene change? I mean, do you think it, where it's, is it in a good place? And I, I'm talking more specifically your tech house, house scene, mm. um, those clubs. I find it... Uh, do you think it's in a good place at the moment? Do you think it's could... I think the scene's always in a good place, but it's yeah. always in a bad place as well. Saturation like, vibes? Yeah. Or, you yeah. get, you get, um... You get saturation stuff and then you get stuff that's just coming up, you know? Yeah. Like, like banging tech house is huge at the moment. 
Yeah. Fisher, Jordan Brando, all that stuff. That's massive. Yeah. And a lot of the time I'm playing a house club and they're demanding that. Yeah. And sometimes I'm on the more funkier side than yeah. like the true straight straight Heavy, jack yeah. and stuff. Yep. And you're a bit don't more get me vocally, wrong. Yeah. yeah, I'm a bit more vocally and like whatever. I think there's room for everything. Mm. Do you it's think just about how you execute it. What about like, in other scenes as in like in the minimal and ha- like obviously you've done house but mm. obviously Melbourne Bounce isn't huge in where we See Melbourne do, Bounce like used to be underground but now yeah. minimal's underground for that stuff. And it's sort of taking yeah. the spot. And then it's kind, of, it's kind of the same as like Tech House and like my funky vocal house mm. and then Techno. Mm. Like Techno's real underground. Techers. Like, yeah. Um, do you like Techers? You don't play much tech. Tech no. Tech no, nah, dude. Not tech, yes. On yeah. That one. Um, More tech. Like house. I can appreciate it. Don't yeah. get me wrong, but it's just not for me. Yeah, fair I enough. I just like more groove, yeah. more vocal. I like singing along the stuff. And you know? well, if you see your and sex, moving you can your tell. Yeah. Shakira would say hips don't lie. They don't, man. Right. And she's really hot, dude. So I was going to touch on the DJs in your um, scene as well, and who'd actually look out for. I mean, you've got a bit of a name now for yourself, so mm. you can probably have. I guess you've got. Um, the power, I guess, in a way to say you should probably look out for these people and yeah. he's doing good things and they've got... I mean, in your in-the-house stuff, you said Jordan Brando, who's obviously killing it and we all see him on, yeah. on like, social media, he's killing it. Yeah, well, he's got signed to make her, so he's going Oh, to good on him. That's yeah. awesome. Um, Other than yourself, who else, man? Is there... Luke I mean, Vecchio are there real, pretty wild. Yeah, you've always... I've always uh, liked him from... Since you've, I guess, introduced me to him. Yeah, yeah. no, I've always been bugged with him. Yeah. He's doing some cool stuff. Um... Party Shirts Thompson, yep, the guy that runs Suki, he is making a move. Yeah, he's super that? versatile, yeah. he's starting to make tunes, um, he's doing like revs on a Thursday, awesome. Porn & Co, Day yeah. Spa, like that kind of stuff. He's doing some cool stuff. So is it those sort of things that, I'm just sort of thinking from people who are watching going, like, how mm. can I make an impact? Yeah. Um, what should they be doing, do you think? Obviously, producing is a big thing, but is producing it more than that? Huge. Networking and going out, do you think it's more... Yeah, I think networking and showing your face at the start is definitely a yeah. thing. So they know like, I don't really network that much now. Mm. Um, I guess you've done that. That was last year. Yeah. All last year. You just got your top promoted. off and everyone was like, who the fuck is this? Who is this guy? Yeah. And we all know he's here. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. There's, there's that dad bot again. <laughs> there's that, Doesn't go away. There's that slightly fat tummy just wiggling around. <laughs> wobble, wobble. Well, I'm glad you're not having a beer now, man. Yeah, Coco, that thanks for this. I actually got to start getting this on my rider. You because should. Because at the moment, my ride is just like six pack of beers and a bottle of vodka, and I'm like, that's fine. Yeah, me if I like, come. I'd have three beers and I'm wallops. <laughs> True. And if I'm driving, like that's pointless. And that's literally point oh so, five man. Yeah, point oh five. So I'm that. like, I'm in love with the <laughs> vodka. <laughs> like I want this, you know. Yeah, that's but yeah, true. like legit. People at home, produce. Yeah. Get out there and just like play what you want and. Yeah. Like I think the earlier you know your direction, the better. Yeah, like I'm yeah. still trying to work out my direction. Yeah, trying like, to properly. Yeah, you know what I mean. And the earlier you kind of ascertain that and just go for it, and follow the it. easier it is for like everyone to understand. Yeah. Patrons, the industry, yeah. record labels. If everyone understands your direction, then people can start supporting that. And then there's no like jumping gun and like. No, going, exactly. Like, oh, I'm, I'm Even me though, like I'm making still 109 BPM tunes and then 123, mm-hmm. when 126 tunes. Because this just depends on your mood sometimes, doesn't it? We're all human, bro. With your tunes, man, dream collab. Is there one person you want to get Ooh. a tune going with? If so, who? Jeez, I haven't thought about this. Dream collab. Do you know what? Someone that's like... Pelt with Scare Machine. Yeah? Sick. You play... Yeah. I've played heaps of their stuff. Yeah. It's just funky house. Similar to your stuff. Yeah, like body funk and dramatic. Well, I guess if Pelt with Machine, if you're watching, I mean, hit him up. Do you reckon they're going to watch this? Because if they wouldn't hit me up. <laughs> exactly. Oh, let's just tag him in the status. I'll tag him for sure. Yeah, done. And I'll inbox him. Done. Um, and just another, uh, we're going to wrap it up soon because I don't want to drain it. I mean, we could talk for hours. but We could, couldn't we, come? I want to know your goal in two years, dude. Because two in two, years? I remember two years ago when I met you two, three years ago, you were different to now, man. And I want to know another two True. years. What did I, I say two years ago? Can't remember. Oh, man. Probably I'd love to play two sets a weekend and now you're doing like five. True. So, How good's that? Cheers to that. <laughs> yeah, what a go. Two years from now, do you want to be doing I want to have, shows? I want to have an album out. Sick. Of like 10 or 12 just straight bangers. Yep. Like cool as tunes. People can sing along to them. Yep. And I want to have a live show ready. Yep. 
So, you obviously, I want to just quickly touch on that. You, mm. you did that one at Top Yard recently. Yep. And that was sold, sold out. Sold out, yeah. Um, are you going to be doing any of them soon in the summer yeah, or is it a bit soon? In Feb. Feb? 2019, yeah. February? Feb 2019, I'm going to do a release party for the In the Right Direction. Awesome. Yeah. And is that, but, yeah, you're just waiting on where you're going to do it or you don't know yeah, yet? Just so asking the details coming. Um, maybe like a um, car park party or something. That'd be sick. Something cool. But um, yeah, two years from now, live show, traveling Australia, hopefully doing some international yep. stuff. Um, headlining Splendor, something like that. Yeah, just really pushing yeah, for the Yeah, just big having guys. like sax, guitar, yeah. heaps of all my vocalists. Because you, you do a lot Jeez. of live stuff. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. It's so much cooler than just DJing. Yeah, it, is, it adds another element. That's, that's sure. just me, you know? Like, it's just a, it's an additional thing. And, yeah. yeah. How did you get onto that? Was that because you obviously used to run a ba- manage a band, didn't you? I managed a band which kind of confirmed my love for live music. Yep. And then Chris Street, yep. shouts out to that man. Legend. Can play the sax. Can play sax. Um, he hit me up and he's like, dude, let's do corporates. And then he, and then we did corporates for ages and then now we're just doing tunes together. And, and yeah. he just plays in the clubs. Because he comes to tramp and jumps on. Yeah, it's kind of funny because he looks real dorky, but like, it's <laughs> kind of cool. It is cool because then he whips out that gold body instrument. And all the girls. Oh my God. Yeah, man. I just want to go a little bit more personal for the last few questions. Yep, cool. Because there's probably people watching this who go, you know, I've seen him out, but I, can, I can't sit down and chat with him because yeah. you're busy and you're famous. So. You can, though. I can. I'm yeah. lucky, man. Yeah. <laughs> and it's costing me a lot of money this interview. <laughs> I'll be boys, yeah. I, see, I, um, see. I want to know a day in the life, <coughs> what, what a day in the life is like for morning, Maxwell. Monday to Friday, you mentioned before, day you don't do a whole heap until Thursday to Saturday. That's yeah, like that. well, usually I get up. Um, so Monday morning, you just had a fucked weekend. You mm. <clears throat> Mondays are huge because yeah. I'm just dead. Awesome. <laughs> so you um, must be really lively. I get up at probably like nine. Live in the dream. Eight or nine. Sick. Have brekkie, yeah. yeah. Have brekkie. Um, what do you eat? You're organic, as surely like a smoothie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. smoothie yeah. and curry for dinner. Lunch. Banana, strawberry, chia seeds, that kind of stuff. Banger. Cheat later. Um, <laughs> and then yeah, I, I usually go to the studio. Yep. Or I do some admin stuff, like send all the invoices off for the weekend, whatever. Sick. Um, yeah, do tunes. Maybe I've got a session with the vocalist, so I like go to their place or whatever. Yep. Um, so it's really heavily music oriented during the week. Oh, it's still full time. It's just like all the back end stuff. Yeah. Like on the weekends, it's literally just playing. Yeah. And then during the week, it's like talking to my agent about the gigs, yeah. talking to the labels about the tunes, yeah. talking to the artists, like the other sing- songs, uh, singwriters. Yep. Singwriters. Sing the songwriters <laughs> about the songs and like the vocalists and, and whatever. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like a one big cycle. So. And when you think about it, that would take a week up. So yeah. it's not hard to. No, nah, it feels really in. quickly. And then Thursday night, you generally get a gig, and then it's Friday, yep. Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, then, exactly. Like that. Well, that's cool. Um, other music tastes, man. What do you listen to, like, outside of house, outside of minimal, outside mm, of the club? I love like, Katrinata. Sick. Tom Mish, uh, Jordan Mackay. <clears throat> Who else? Uh, just like chill. I, I don't know. Monday to Thursday is chill. Yeah. I love. Pardon me. I love listening to chill stuff. Just kick um, back. Yeah. Yeah. So. Often, like, some of my mates, like, Ten Tendo and Billy Davis and stuff yeah. are really good to listen to, just yeah. something different. Because if you listen to House 24-7, yeah. it is become high hats, you know? Yeah, that's true. And you want to keep it for the weekend. Yeah, exactly. And keep so. it for when it matters. Yeah. Well, man, I'm going to wrap it up there. Thanks so much for coming in. No worries. I appreciate Thanks for the chat. Me. Dude, we'll probably do another one, um, because I don't know if anyone else want to come on, so... <laughs> it might just be me and you every Dude, time, man. I love that. <laughs> Thanks so much, Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Good on you. <laughs> Cheers. Satisfaction.